Number 90. Calculate these masses. Then I see A and B, so I'm just going to quickly write A over here and B over here. All right, so now let's get to it. A, what is the mass of 4.00 centimeter cubed of sodium, which is a density of 0 0.97 grams per centimeter cubed? Okay, so the question is, what is the mass? So we don't know what the mass is. Mass is a question mark. And now from number 89, if you guys did 89, it was basically the same question as this, you guys should recognize that centimeters cubed is always going to be a volume. So get that into your head, guys. Centimeters cubed is always going to be a volume. So we have a volume here, volume of 4.00 centimeters cubed, and they told us the density, right? So density equals 0 0.97 grams per centimeter cubed. So I got the density, got the volume, looking for the mass. Easy as pie, density formula, right? D equals M over V. Just know that the hardest part of this formula is to just um, match up the units. So the mass units have to match up and the volume units have to match up. So in this case, always look at what they give you in the density. So in this case, the density they gave you was grams per centimeter cubed. So that means that the mass that has to be put in has to be grams. It has to match G with G. And the volume has to be in centimeters cubed. So the volumes both have to match. So always look at your density to know what your units are. But in here, there's no problem because centimeter cubed is the same as centimeter cubed. So we can jump right into the formula. D equals M over V. 0 0.97 equals X over, because that's what we're solving for, 4.00. This is a cross multiplication, right? You basically have two ratios equaling each other because remember, this is over 1. So cross multiply and solve. You get x equals 0.97 times 4. So you get 3.88, but now we just need the correct sig figs. So 3.88. But now, you guys should know your sig figs by now. If you don't, go back to the previous questions. There's tons of them. So here, this one, there's two sig figs because remember, uh, Leading zeros never count. This is a leading zero. And in here, there's three sig figs because these are trailing zeros. Trailing zeros only count when you see a decimal. For multiplication and division, you take the lowest number. So my answer needs to have two sig figs. So it would be the three and the eight, but the eight next door tells me that this eight will turn into a nine. So I have 3.9 grams because that was the unit of the density part for the mass. So it's gotta be in grams. So that's the mass for the first part, 3.9 grams. Give this one a check and we'll move it on to B. What is the mass of 125 milliliters gaseous chlorine? Density is 3.16 grams per liter. Okay, so what is the mass? That's the question. So what, right? So mass is a question mark. We don't know that. Milliliter, just like you see in uh, centimeters cubed, that's also another volume. So we have a volume of 125 milliliters, and then we have a density of 3.16 grams per liter. Do we see a problem here? Yes, we do. The volume that they gave us was in milliliters, but the volume unit that they gave us in density was liters. To make it easy for yourself, guys, always leave the density units alone. Convert either the mass or the volume units. So here, I'm just going to convert 125 milliliters into liters. Then they will match. So let's do that quickly over here. 125 mils, you guys should know how to convert by now. Milliliters on the bottom, because we want to cancel that out, goes on the opposite side. Liters goes up on top. What's the conversion between milliliters and liters? You guys should know your SI units by now. It is question 90. <laughs> but just remember, you could either say 1,000 milliliters equals 1 liter, or um, 1 milliliter equals 10 to the negative 3 liters. They are equivalent to each other. 
I will use the top one because I don't really like to use negative exponents. So I'm just going to put down here, there's a thousand milliliters equals one liter. Milliliters cancel out, you get your liters of 0.125 liters. This is the number that we have to plug into our density formula because liters match with liters. So let's go. Density equals mass divided by volume. 3.16 equals x over 0.125. Cross multiplication, this will equal this, because remember, the 3.16 is really over 1. So, x equals 3.16 times 0.125, you get 0 0.395, and now we just got to use sig figs. The first number, 3.16, there are three sig figs here. All of them count. And this one, the 1, 2, and the 5 count because leading zeros, this zero right here, never counts. So my answer should have three sig figs, and there we go, 395. So for this, the mass was 0 0.395 grams because that was the unit that was part of the mass in the density so they have to match box that answer off that is your answer for part b and now we got answer for a and b so this one was pretty pretty straightforward just remember to check those units that's as hard as the density problems are going to get thanks for tuning in guys hope this helped a lot i'll see you all in the next question if this helped click the like button but i'll see you all in number 91 see ya